It's time for new products. Do this thing. Okay, it's new product time. Do, it. do 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 do. Okay. All right, first up, folks, we are now officially able to sell CADSoft Eagle. This is PCB design software that Lady Ada uses herself. It's true. I use it. Yeah. So. I don't want to say. Yeah. Everything I do, it's Eagle CAD. Yeah. You know why? Because the Media Lab had a site license. <laughs> um, That's what I learned. But it's one of those things where if you look at, I would say, the top two open source hardware companies, um, Adafruit and SparkFun, we all use Eagle CAD. That's true. Um, Arduino uses it. Arduino uses it. Um, there's KiCad and there's Gita. There's we other. link. We link to those. We can't sell that though because it's open it's source. It's open software. source. You can download it for free. It's free. We link to those in the product page of Eagle because we feel like we should tell folks, hey, by the way, you can still download something for free. Eagle, you can download right now and play around with for freeware. Yes. However, getting back to Adafruit selling stuff, so we worked with them. Um, it's very complicated and hard for companies to do like agreements and there's legal and there's lawyers. But we can do it. So we're offering um, three different versions. Yeah. Hobbyist. Hobbyist. It's under 200 bucks, And you can right away get the it's, layout, it's schematic, and auto router. Yeah. $169. Yeah. We also got standard edition. Comes out with layout and schematic. And there's also sizes about what you can do with the boards. How big the boards, how many yeah. sheets. Basically, the hobbyist, I think, is 100 by 160 millimeters. And professional. Yeah. Professional, you can have any size PCB, I think. Yeah. And so um, we're. Standard also, Standard is also a very large PCB, but yeah. standard and professional is for commercial use. Hobbyist is for non commercial use only. Yeah. And uh, it's been working out great. Um, people are buying it. People are really enjoying it. People are you know, using like Bitcoin to buy it. <laughs> um, the and only thing. Oh, good. I want to mention uh, we don't have the auto router as part of the package. Yeah, because you don't like that. I don't like the auto router. Yeah, you don't I've, like that. I have a personal... For, for hobbyists, it's included, but we can't stop that. That Right, it was bundled in, but for professional and standard, I, I have a thing. I actually don't think the auto router is worth the money, and I don't think it's useful yeah. for engineers to use it. Other people disagree with me. Yeah. That's cool. You can always buy the auto router direct from CADSoft, yeah. but uh, I'm a grumpy engineer, and so uh, <laughs> you get the schematic and the board uh, yeah. layout. So it's one of those things where, like, um, if, if you, if you want to buy Eagle and support Adafruit, you can do it now. Yes. We don't make a lot of money on this. And we get a this. badge. Yeah, we, uh, we send you a badge. We don't make a lot of money on this, but we wanted to have this for our customers. So um, we have screenshots of the software. You can go to the download section and I download it I think they even included one or two of K-Town's boards as the examples. They may have, yeah. I think they did, because they were like, that's so. a really nice board you made, K-Town. Oop. There's two of us now. I got, I was a little quickie. Okay. Quickie, quickie. Okay. All right, so next up. Um, okay. Software. Yeah, hardware. Hardware yeah. now. Now we're selling noobs. Okay, noobs. Yeah. Uh, and look at this. So we even got, uh, it says noobs on it. We have 8 gig noobs cards. If you want noobs 1.3, 1.3 um, is great. It has, uh, ooh, I'm thinking if I remember all the operating systems. It has Raspbian, uh, Rasp XBMC or XMBC, I can never remember which way it is, um, Arch, RiskOS. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna forget. I don't remember any of their names. There's like two more that are not as common, um, but yeah. it has the four most popular ones that I can recite off the top of my head, and then maybe another one or two. An eight gig card lets you install, I think, about like two or three at a time, and it, and you can actually on boot you can select which one you want. Um, so it's really handy. It's like you plug it in, you go. Uh, you get a micro SD and uh, the adapter, and so you can use it with our little. Um, with our little shortener or like the micro yeah. SD adapter so it's short or with uh, the SD adapter so it's full size. Okay. Anyways, handy. And so, gig. Lady, to we're going to go through this next batch because they're all basically yeah. the same. Very, yeah. very quick because very we're fast. running out of time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, almost done. Yeah. Gonna I like how, so someone in the YouTube comments not so long ago, they go, I like Ask an engineer, except for the guy who just keeps making it, Lady Ada get through the products faster. I know. So, that grumpy guy. That grumpy guy. So, um, okay. yeah. so these are LED backlights, and these are actually from LCDs. And um, we were like, hey, you, know, you can buy the LED backlights separately. And they're actually really cool. Um, they're a single white LED encased in acrylic, and they have this kind of diff a special diffused acrylic that emits light from the front only, pretty much. And then they have a little bit of uh, wrapping around the side and the back so that they don't um, they don't uh, 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 emit light from the bottom because if you were using it as a backlight, it would be half as efficient. So I'm going to show off uh, these LEDs on the overhead. So 
let's check this out. Okay, so we got a battery pack, and since they're white LEDs, you want to run them at like three to four volts or so. You can check the data sheet for exactly. And then, yeah, they're just like a really nice, so um, this side is actually not bright, and this side is super bright, and it's very uniform. So that's really nice. You can mask it, you can put a gel on top of it, you can draw on it. Uh, I think if you use marker, it'll even show up really nicely. So this is the little mini size. This is yeah. like one by eight uh, LEDs. And then um, uh, I'll show the medium, which is uh, the same as used as a 16 by two. This is what it looks like off. And then yeah, they, all, they all have one LED that's driven at 20 milliamps. So it's also a really efficient way to get a pretty uh, yeah. backwards. I, I wore one of these at our, we have a, a weekly all company meeting and it was very easy just to affix it to my jacket. And then and write it your looks name. super Blade Runner-y. Yeah, yeah and then cool. this is the 16 by two, so this is really nice. It is a little bit brighter over here, but it's pretty uniform. Yeah, it almost looks like a little mini EL panel. And then, yeah, it, it has a, a little bit of the EL effect, and because it's all yeah. it's pure white, you can color it quite easily with a gel or something. And then here is what I call like business card sized. Yeah. Um, also, you know, it's not as bright because there's one LED and it's diffused. So, you know, you can put something on top of this or a gel, and it's a pure white, cool white color. So yeah. you can, I don't know, you can do pretty much anything you want, but it's a nice little LED tag. And uh, I don't know, check it out. Um, they're inexpensive because they're just used as backlights. And we'll try to get um, more. This is the biggest size you can get. I don't think I can get any bigger. This is, I think, 4 by 20 okay. uh, LCD. So three sizes. Yep. Um, yeah. For conferences, these are super cheap name badges. I thought this would be, yeah. I thought the reason yeah. I got this, I call it business card. I thought it would be a cool little name badge or something, and it would yeah. light up. And you could use a coin cell. Um, you know, I used for, for demoing these, you can use a, just a coin cell. And it will actually last a very long time um, because it, it, a coin cell, it's basically like a throwy. It'll last like six or seven hours, basically. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go to the next thing. We can. Yeah. It's going to go the other way. Okay, next up. TNT is updated. Three point, actually, this, I'll just show this uh, 3 .1, right? on the photo. Yeah, no, I'll show it on the photo. It doesn't make sense because it's okay. a really good photo. Um, the TNC 3.1 is updated. Paul Stoffergen updated this to 3.1. It is now better. There is four times as much RAM, twice as much flash. It's got a DAC now. Still it's TNT, though. Five, the digital inputs are 5-volt uh, compliant. Um, it's still a 3-volt device. I think it can run even faster, although I think it runs at the same speed. It's basically a drop-in replacement. Um, and they have more analog digital converters. It has a dual analog digital converter, so you can do stereo sampling in parallel. It's just a, a, a nicer chip, but it's pin compatible, so it's uh, an easy update and uh, same price. Yeah. Nice. Paul, one of the most talented people in the world of microcontrollers and, yeah, and open source. Oh, yeah, cool. so I just I, I, I wear this around. People cool are like, effect. oh, look at you, man from future. Um, okay. And then here's the Future Man. Here's the star of the show, besides Lady Ada, of course. This is the Blue Fruit Easy Link. And for the folks who know about Arduino and programming and Bluetooth, um, as you saw in our mailbag, you're gonna freak out. So this is the easiest and I think the only way to wirelessly program an Arduino right. using Bluetooth over wireless. Okay. It's, it stacks. And it's stackable. Look at this nice stacking photo John's in your top. Yeah, it stacks. It's so stacky. Yeah. All right, so you want to go to the overhead on this Yeah, thing? sure. I'll Let's go to the go overhead there. and talk about this. Um, so we started by introducing the EasyLink um, module. Oh, my phone. Yeah, something, something, something didn't work out. Oh, no. We can do, yeah. it. We can do it live. I'll do it live on here. Yeah. So we started with the, um, the Bluetooth module, which is the EasyLink, and it was just basically like an FTDI friend replacement. And this works really well, and um, I wanted to have this, and I also wanted to make a version that was Shield um, compatible, basically. It's just an Arduino shield. So we started um, with this guy, and then I was like, wow, that worked really well, and people were programming Arduino successfully. So um, I quickly turned it into a shield, and um, I got this made. Um, so let's, let's uh, can we go to the photo of the, the shield? Yeah. Oh, there's a front photo. Yeah. So it plugs on top of an Arduino, and um, you see that the Blue Fruit Easy Link module itself, and we also have some circuitry. Um, and basically, it is a, a plug-in transparent Arduino Bluetooth programming link. It's, you can communicate as well as program. Once you pair it to your computer, you can pair it with uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. You can also pair it to Android tablets. It doesn't pair it to iOS tablets because iOS does not permit pairing to SPP devices. It shows up like a COM port, just like a FTDI friend would uh, appear, or if you plug in an Arduino, it appears like a serial port or COM port. 
um, but this COM port is completely wireless. And because the Easy Link, we wrote the firmware on the module and it doesn't suck, um, it can actually uh, update the baud rate to whatever is selected when you open the COM port. So that allows you to like open the COM port at 9600 baud, it will open the Bluetooth connection at 9600 baud. So you never have to configure it. There's never this like connect and hold a pin and AT, BD, plus, blah, blah, blah. You never have to set that up. It's completely transparent and done in the Bluetooth RF COM layer which is why it took us um, many months to do this because uh, it's completely not documented. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's why, and also no other module on the market does this. There's n nothing that I've ever seen that can do uh, automatic baud rate detection. And also it does the um, serial control line pass back and forth. So most modules they have like a, you know, RTS and CTS control lines, but those don't go back to the computer. They actually are just for flow control with the module itself. With these modules, we actually have the data go back and forth. Um, and so the way that Arduinos are reprogrammed is a computer uh, sets the DTR pin high and low, and that resets mm -hmm. the Arduino, and then it can start bootloading. That's why no other Bluetooth module can reprogram an Arduino. So you get all these Bluetooth shields, and they kind of never talk about how you can't actually use them to program wirelessly, because it doesn't work. You can't do it unless you have the baud rate detection thing and the, the DTR pin thing. Yeah. Um, so the cool thing is that this shield does both. And because you can do both, you can just plug it on top of an Arduino and it immediately acts as a transparent uh, programming and communications link. So you can open up the serial console, you can program it through the Arduino IDE completely transparently, and it, and it just works. Um, basically, no problems, no weirdness, no configuration. You don't have to have another microcontroller or like some other process or firmware hacking or, or bootloader hacking. Yeah. It works with any bootloader. Um, it works with the Uno and the Mega does not work with a Leonardo, and the reason is the Leonardo doesn't use a serial link to program, it uses USB direct. So that's that's the trade-off. We, we actually, I mean, you could reprogram the Leonardo to have a different bootloader that would allow it to do serial yeah. programming, but um, if you want the drop-in, ready to go, uh, use an Uno or Mega, we tested with both and it works great. Uh, you can also put the shield into uh, soft serial mode with a little switch if you want to program it via USB, but then communicate with Bluetooth over uh, two serial pins. So you can pick any pins you want, use software serial and communicate. But I think what mm -hmm. it really shines at is the uh, wirelessly reprogramming capability. Very cool. Yeah. And with that, Lady Ada is new products. Yeah.